All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Sampson, coming at you with a couple of news items out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So first up, the UFC has added yet another Invicta FC champion to its roster as it has just signed Invicta FC strawweight champion Kanako Murata. Murata is currently 11-1 and as a professional. She last fought Emily Ducote at Invicta FC 38 for the vacant strawweight championship a fight she won via split decision. Her lone loss comes to Rin Nakai at Ryzen uh, World Grand Prix 2016 uh, in the flyweight division. So her only loss is up at flyweight. Uh, she actually made her debut and first few couple of fights with Ryzen before uh, moving to uh, abroad. She made her Invicta debut Back in June of 2019, uh, defeating Leanna Perosin via second round rear naked choke before, and then capturing the title against Ducote at Invicta FC 38. Uh, one interesting fact about Murata is that she is the only female fighter in the world to have a win by the Von Flu choke. She has not one, but two wins in back with it in back-to-back -back fights at Ryzen 12 and then Ryzen 15. Uh, she's a very strong wrestler, very strong grappling, good submissions, a very nice addition to a division that is very striker heavy. Now, her striking still needs some work. However, she has been training a lot out of the CSA gym in California. Very good gym to work on for anyone that wants to go and work on their striking. Uh, Kirian Fitzgibbons, I believe, is the main striking coach over there. Trained a lot of Muay Thai champions. A very good gym to be at for her. So she is going to make a very nice addition to the UFC strawweight roster. Uh, an addition that a lot of people thought should have been made already. Also in UFC news, a pivotal strawweight bout between Carla Esparza and Marina Rodriguez has been rescheduled from July 25th in Abu Dhabi to now fighting at July, excuse me, moved from July 15th in Abu Dhabi, now scheduled for July 25th. This fight was pulled from the UFC scheduled July 15th event after one of Rodriguez's cornermen tested positive for COVID-19 at their isolation hotel in Brazil. Rodriguez said that she still wanted to fight anyway, so I guess she is moving on without that particular corner man and is now going to take the fight on the 25th. Um, Esparza, of course, is currently on a three-fight winning streak over Verna Jandaroba and Alexa Grasso and then Michelle Watterson. Rodriguez is coming off a draw with Cynthia Calvillo, sandwiched... Uh, after, excuse me, coming after two wins over Jessica Aguilar and Tisha Torres. It's a very interesting fight still. Uh, Sparza coming in with the wrestling that seems to have be Rodriguez's uh, biggest problem. Of course, Rodriguez is a very strong striker, Muay Thai stylist that has given Sparza fits in the past as well. Okay, so that's it for the news. Uh, new straw weight in the UFC and one fight that was originally pulled from an event and now has been rescheduled. Let me know your thoughts on these two news items in the comments down below. Of course, if you like the video, give it a like. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.